This video will show you uh, how to do a simple mediation analysis using Lisserl 9.2. The variables that we're using for this analysis are uh, math achievement, motivation, and the scholastic aptitude math test score. And what we're going to examine is the uh, direct effects of math on the uh, scholastic, the SAT math score, and also how motivation mediates those direct effects. Uh, the data that we've used, uh, that we're using for this uh, example, comes from comes from the um, HSB data set. It's 75 high school students that were a subset of a sample uh, in data provided by uh, Leach, Baird, and Morgan. And so what I'm going to do now is open up Lisserl 9.2 and I'm going to import this data set into the program. Now I'm going to open up the mediation file first and then go to SPSS data file and open up the SPSS file. And it's going to save this. I've done this analysis once, so it already has the file name. But I'll create the file again. And I'm going to name it Mediation. So now we have our, um, medi we have our variables that we're going to use for our uh, mediation analysis. And so the first thing I need to do is create a uh, new path diagram and so or path diagram file. And so I'm going to go to File and New, and then I'm going to open one. And I'm going to name it Mediation. And then uh, over here, I'm going to go Save. Now the next. Uh, important thing I need to do is I need to uh, import the variables into the path analysis window. So I need to set it up. And so I'm going to go to set up and title and comments and then I'm going to name it mediation. And I'm going to go next and I don't have any groups so I'll go next. And now an important piece of this uh, analysis that I need to do is add the variables. And so I'm going to click on that button. And what's important is I've got to go to the Lisserl system file. And then I'll go browse. And so what that does, it takes me to the LSF file that we created just a few minutes ago. And so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open that. And then I'm going to go OK. And so what you'll notice is now that we have our variables um, imported that we can use to uh, construct our path. And then I'm going to go uh, OK. Now, my math achievement variable is my independent variable. I shouldn't have checked that. And my motivation and my uh, math uh, scholastic, scholastic aptitude uh, score. These are uh, latent dependent variables. So these need to be checked because they are dependent on uh, the math achievement. These two, motivation and uh, the math, the scholastic aptitude math score. So I'm going to drag math over and then motivation over. And you'll notice it's blue. And then scholastic aptitude math. Okay, then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on my little arrow and I'm going to draw my paths. Okay, so we've got that done. Now what I need to do is go to Setup and I'm going to go to Build Simplest Syntax. So now my relationships and the information for creating this path analysis is uh, completed. So this is going to take the raw data from the LSF file and analyze it. The relationships that we've specified through our paths is that um, motivation, 
uh, is related to uh, scholastic aptitude math and motivations also related to math achievement. So you can see that here. And then math achievement has a direct relationship with the scholastic aptitude math. And then it's going to, uh, the program will uh, create a path diagram for us with the uh, estimates for the path and error uh, in that path diagram. But I want you to put one other um, line in. I'm going to call this Lisserl Output. And the reason I want this line in, Lisserl Output, and then the EF, is because what this will do is give us the direct and the indirect effects of math achievement on the uh, scholastic aptitude math test. And so we'll go ahead now and then we'll uh, click on Run Lisserl. And then you see we have our path diagram. Whoops. I want to go back up here and click this button. And then I want to rearrange this path so it looks like the way that we originally drew it. And then you can sort of clean that up. So we can see our path coefficients are estimated for us. Let's go to the output and see what we have. So if I um, look at this output and I scroll down, I don't want you to worry about these warning signs because all that means is that our data is not ordinal, that it's uh, interval level, that it has more than 15 categories, but it's not going to uh, cause any errors or problems for us. And as I move down, I can see the um, means and the standard deviation and the skewed and kurtosis for each of my uh, variables. And then I have a chi-square test that shows that um, math achievement is uh, significantly non-normal, whereas motivation and this scholastic aptitude math test is not. However, um, maximum likelihood uh, analysis that is the default for Lisserl is robust to that the violation of the assumptions of normality. Then we have our uh, syntax that was uh, created when we uh, created our path diagram and we put in the Lisserl output EF line. Then we have our covariance matrix that's calculated. And then as we move down, we have uh, these different matrices. And let me get this situated here. So you can have the output next to the path diagram. And we see that um, we have our uh, beta matrix. And this is the paths between the latent dependent variables. So this is a latent dependent variable motivation. And scholastic aptitude math is a latent dependent variable. So that's the matrix that this path is uh, located in. And then we have our gamma matrix. And that uh, contains the um, paths, the path coefficients uh, for the uh, independent and dependent, latent dependent variables. So math achievement. Uh, and its influence or effect on motivation is 0 0.03 and math achievement and its uh, effect as it's mediated by motivation is 10.96. And so you can see those uh, path coefficients here. And then we have the covariance matrix again. And um, now this is the full effect of, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Let me, let me scroll down. So this is the part of the output that, is, that the Lisserl EF line provides for us. It gives us the total and the indirect effects. So you can see that 
the direct effect of math achievement on motivation is 0 0.03. You can see that here. And then the, the direct effect of math on uh, scholastic aptitude math scores is 11.158. Well, that doesn't agree with this, but this is the total effect when we take into account uh, when motivation is not mediating math. So now if we come down here, this is the proportion of variance in scholastic aptitude math scores that's mediated by motivation. Or I'm sorry, this is the proportion of math achievement and its effect on scholastic aptitude math scores that's mediated by math achievement. So if I add this to 10.96, I'm going to get the total effect, 11.158. And then we have the total effects, of course, of motivation on scholastic aptitude uh, math scores, which is 6.76. So this is how we uh, run a uh, simple mediation analysis using Lyseral. And this really is a basic example that will help us to then do more complex path analysis that contain more than one mediator variable.